bedroom apartment is right here in North Dakota in Williston at almost $2,400 a month. And while construction is working to catch up, the demand is still far outweighing supply. Our mantra is build, baby, build. Uh, we're going to build our way out of this thing. For economic developers like Sean Wanko, keeping up with the demand of housing in Williston is a constant challenge. It's going to take some time to get over the hump. He says that the reality of the current market doesn't resemble the signage greeting drivers on 2nd Avenue. We're seeing Williston move from a boom to business model now. Several years ago, you saw it was the crew camps and the hotels that were going up uh, like wildfire here. Uh, then that moved into the apartment units. Uh, what we're seeing, uh, the trend in 2014, is the single family homes are now coming. But the rent will be high for a while. And Wanko says many workers are looking to surrounding communities for lodging. Even as far as getting into Montana and South Dakota are seeing a benefit from the Bakken oil boom. Housing units have doubled over the last five years, but it's a short building season, causing many residents to double and even triple up. You see a lot of uh, living situations where you're living with a roommate or several roommates in the area just to offset some of the costs. Last year's brutal winter has caused the ground to remain frozen even now, several feet deep, stalling major construction jobs and causing construction firms frustration. With a lot of work to do, not a lot of time to do it. Last year, at this time, we were going full, full go, and uh, this year we're, we're still slow start. We're already a month behind. Jeremy Easem of Horror's Development says he believes the market may be a few years away from coming back to Earth. As people uh, come out here and they do get into the single-family homes um, and, the, and the single-family lots are available, then the, the need for apartments would, would go down. That's, that's what we're seeing. Once that happens, then you can see the, uh, the market stabilize. In the meantime, one of the biggest challenges Roars faces is finding contractors to put shovels in the ground of developments like this 120-acre plot west of town. So we don't bid a lot of work. However, in Williston, we had to bid um, out some work, and, and that was the struggle, is finding people to do the jobs. For Wanko, the problem isn't finding people, it's finding a place to put them. So he's asking anyone considering a move to oil country to think ahead. We really like to get the word out that you have to have a plan if you're coming to Williston. Uh, you just can't show up here with, on, your, on your last dollar running on fumes. Make sure you give Williston developers a little more time to build, baby, build first. Another possible reason the developments are moving in the direction of single-family homes, there were around 800 babies born last year in Williston so many families are looking to put down roots. Next week, I'll take you outside of Williston to show you how neighboring communities have benefited from the oil boom. Eric Crouch, Fox News.